What's up everybody? Peter McKinnon here, welcome back to another video. Today is a special video. Today is a video I've been waiting to make for quite some time. As you may have been seeing, as I've been seeing a lot of people tagging me on Twitter, receiving their new Peter McKinnon Nomadic camera bags. So I figured I would unbox it like everyone else is unboxing it, fresh from the factory. I have yet to actually open a package like this with the bag and all accessories in it, fresh from the factory. I've always had prototypes and little mix matches and things from new ones and old ones. This is my first time fully unboxing a brand new one, just like you'd unbox one at home. And I figured I could go through, show you what the bag is, what you get with it, what it comes with, all the accessories laid out if you were to purchase a bundle that has everything with it. Just so you can see some of the work that went into this, a lot of the thought that went into the accessories and things that were included and designed to make your life better as a photographer, be it at home, on the move, whatever the case, very, very excited. Let's go grab it. When this thing arrives on your doorstep, um, right now it might scare a lot of people because there's a skull on it, but don't be worried. There's my signature. There is the Nomadic logo. This is the box that it ships in. Right down to the box itself, we wanted to put effort into everything. I didn't want it to just ship in a, a brown box that said Uline on it. I wanted it to be stylized so that when you got it, bam, you were excited, you knew what was coming. Let's cut into it. Knife of choice today, Sebenza 31, titanium frame lock. Bam! Very carefully. It's always important if you're using a pocket knife to open your packages to one, be safe, and two, clean the blade of all that sticky residue after the fact. It's just knife etiquette. Look at the first thing you're greeted with is that Pete's Pirate Life skull staring you straight in the face. <laughs> I love it. Seriously, branding, packaging, the experience alone of just receiving your product for the first time, that's important to me. It's important to me as a consumer. It's important to me as a customer. It's important to me as someone who is putting something out into the world that other people are going to experience. It starts here. First impressions right here. This is what you're looking at. All right, let's pull this out. Thumbnail. Wait, wait, wait. Second thumbnail. Classic YouTubers. All right, so you have your bag inside another bag, actually. <laughs> it's the truth. Slide it out here. Oh, that feels good. I'm the kind of person that keeps this kind of thing. I think that's also called hoarding. Here you have the Peter McKinnon Nomadic camera bag, the camera pack. Why did I design a bag? Not because I thought I could make a bag better than anyone else, but there was nothing currently in the market serving my exact needs. That was being able to transport all of my equipment and clothing for up to one to three days. I do a lot of quick in and out trips to the States, different places, backpacking, hiking, camping, those things at home, wherever. And I always hated having to have a camera bag and something for my additional items. Is it an everyday carry bag? Is it gonna be the bag you use to go to and from the office? For me, probably not. It wasn't designed to just kick around daily as like a commuter bag to your office and back when you're transporting literally nothing with you, maybe aside a laptop. But this thing is designed to just, it's designed to do it all. It's designed to hold it all. Tarpaulin material, water resistant. You got some waterproof zippers here. Clothing compartment, waterproof zippers. Start with the exterior. I've never done like a proper, I've never done a proper bag tour of this thing yet. So this is it, all right? You've got your magnetic water bottle flap and or tripod flap because you don't want this baggy thing just hanging off the side. Uh, boom, magnetizes shut, flush. Tripod goes right here, sticks up, strap it into the top, make sure everything's good to go. Right, other side, what do we have? Side access. I am not a side access kind of guy. However, I know that I'm not the only photographer in the world and there are other people who would enjoy that feature. That's why it's here, okay? I did this for you. Let's talk about that front pocket. You go ahead, you unzip that front pocket. Pretty deep pocket. There's a lanyard inside to strap your keys to. Inside, under the lip. You see that? Fly the flag. That's my little motto for Pete's Pirate Life. Underneath this flap here, which is magnetized, that magnetizes shut so you can keep your passport safe, which is dope. So that is the main compartment. 
wallets, sunglasses, phones, charger cable, passport, some cash, Purell, whatever you want. That's going there. Super comfy grip up top. You've also got that extra handle on the back, which I love because you can use this to hang it on a hook inside a house. That's actually where I hang mine a lot of times. I come in the door and I hang it on the coat hook if it doesn't have everything in the world in it because at that point, the coat hook would probably come down. You got your shoulder tension straps right here, your arm straps, your waist strap. I'm not really a waist strap kind of guy. I usually take this off almost immediately, but it's just held on with Velcro. So if you don't want it, you can actually put your hand inside, split that Velcro, and then just slide it out. And then that's what I do. Put that somewhere you won't forget. For me, this is a little more mobile. I just don't like those things flapping around. Dead center. What do we got? We got the Pete's Pirate Life skull. You've got the pass-through right here. So if you put this on luggage, if you are carrying a roller bag with you, you can slide this on top. That's gonna be secured to your roller bag. On the side, laptop slides inside right there. This material, oh, are you kidding me right now? Can I just get in here and go to bed, please? Let's talk about these zipper pulls for a second. These little zipper pulls here, little anodized tubes so you can get a good grip on that zip and you just boop. All these little things, like we made decisions about all of this. Like we made decisions on things like, do you want some nylon sewn into the strap as a little accent? Like, yes, I would like that. Do you want these things to be extra padded? Yes, because we carry heavy gear. All of these things thought through. Every centimeter of this bag has a purpose. And we haven't even got to the inside yet. <laughs> Let us jump into said bag. Opening up the clothing compartment, okay? Bam, this is like a little clamshell. This is your clothing compartment. These straps designed to compress down clothing. You've also got these elastic compartments underneath. You can put stuff like your laptop charger, your power bank, your glasses case. And then up here on this side, you've got more compartments for socks, underwear, dirty clothes. This opens up if you wanna pack more t-shirts into this side. There is so much organization in this bag, it's almost obnoxious. And if that's not enough room for you, this little zipper here on the side unzips all the way around. That's gonna expand this bag. Look at all that extra room right there, add it to your bag. Love that. Now the main part of the bag is accessed through the back. I love that because when you're traveling, if you're wearing this and you're in a country you're uncomfortable with, you're just uncomfortable in an airport, anywhere at all, just safety, safety precautions. This bag cannot be opened from the back by a pickpocket or someone else. These zippers right here also can take any kind of lock. So if you're extra paranoid, you wanna lock this bag up, Absolutely, that was a feature that was required in order to keep your gear safe. Opening this bad boy, here we go. That is what you are looking at when you open your bag that comes with all of the accessories. It's a lot. There's a lot going on in here, uh, and let's, let's talk through some of this. This could literally be like three videos. I've got 18 minutes left on this card and I'm starting to feel pressure. You'll find all your accessories included inside. Here we have the battery case the memory card case, your cute little rain cover. Here you have your camera accessory case. You've got your filter case, EVA foam, all this stuff hardened to make sure your gear is protected. You've got your straps for a tripod right here. Then you have your cube pack, everyone's favorite accessory. This thing is a bag inside of a bag. So, and then inside you'll find all of your dividers are these nice kind of modular dividers that give you the option to compress different parts down and really kind of make them your own. It basically gives you the option to kind of customize your bag however you want it. it. Goes in just like that. We've also designed the camera spot to fit a camera perfectly snug. A lot of camera compartments come out and then go in. They go in and come out like that. But that always leaves a weird empty gap on one side of your camera and we hated that. So we redesigned this so that the bump part of the divider comfortably fits the grip and the other part is flush so that camera is taking up and it is wasting zero space inside the bag. I want you to get as much out of this as you can. So if you're not using the Q pack, you can use this divider here. You can move this one down. You can use these extra dividers to organize this section to get even more out of it. More telephoto glass. We're talking prime lenses, filter spots, camera, second body. You can really pack this thing out, especially if you're not bringing this with you. You could also leave this whole compartment open, stack it with clothes, stack it with whatever else you need to bring with you if your pack is smaller and your trip or your project doesn't require as much equipment. Moving on to this part of the bag. 
This part of the bag here, designed to carry all the accessories comfortably. I never like when I get a bag and I go to open it up and I put that brand's accessories inside like the mesh pockets and they don't fit well. And you're like, what? You made these. So all of this stuff fits the accessories. Filter case can go in here, battery case and the memory card case can go in here together. Then you've got a slot right here for your tablet. You'll notice it's not as deep. It only goes to about here and that is the inside of the bag. Let's take a look at some of the accessories. Let's start with the battery case. When you open this up inside, you'll notice a tiny little piece of paper and it says battery charge reminder decals. Now this is probably one of my favorite things. Instructions, attach a red decal to the end of your battery. Also, if you're one of the people that says decal, I don't understand you. Please do not cover the metal contacts. When the battery is charged, store it in its case with the decal side down. So let me show you that. All right, we're gonna stick that. Boom, red is dead. The arrow of my battery goes down. I open my case up like this. I can see this battery is full. When it's dead, I turn it around. When I open my case up now, I know this battery's dead. You, can, you don't need these stickers to do that, but the fact that they're included, it's like one of my favorite parts of the whole bag, okay? I'm sorry, but I just, that is awesome. Moving on to the memory card. You've got space for your SD cards. Push up with your thumbnail to remove memory card. SD cards can go in here, CF Express cards can go in here, CFast or compact flash cards can go here, and then this little zippered spot is for micro SD because there's never a place to put them that I like. That goes in there, that zips shut nice and safe, magnetizes, you get your cards, you've got your batteries, you are good to go. Let's take a look at this filter case. Again, hard material. I didn't want to go with the softer material because Glass, elastic spot here for your lens cloth. If you use the Peter McKinnon variable ND, it comes with one. Plug, you've got spots for your NDs. One, two, three, four, five, six, all of these things. Nice and slim, they fit into the zippered mesh pocket of the bag. And if you're gonna throw these to a buddy and the buddy misses and these fall on the ground inside this case, you're fine nothing will happen to your glass. The camera box. The camera box is an essential. It's the box for all the things that you never know what to do with. You're talking action cams. You've got grips and mounts and stickies and all kinds of weird things. You've got extra cables. You've got solid state drives. You've got adapters. You've got dongles. You've got a whole bunch of garbage that's required a lot of the time to create. Instead of all these little bits and pieces strewn about inside a bag, now they can go in this little accessory box that's zipped shut hardened as well, and that just makes life easier. We went with this double mesh locking system. This is like I said, every centimeter of this bag was thought of. When there's only one pocket and you've got some cables in here and you open the bag up, sometimes that stuff flies out. So we've got this top section to keep that from happening. It's just the little things that have bothered me over time that have never been addressed. So with the blessing of being able to design my own camera bag, all of these things were taken into account. I made this bag for us. 11 minutes of that card remaining. Oh, pick it up, Pete, let's go. So that is the camera accessory box. Love this thing. I just, mwah, so helpful. Rain cover, covers your bag from the rain. Next. This is probably the thing that blows everyone's mind the most. So what's great about this is you can use this without anything else. If you already have a system that you like or you're going on a vacation or you're going somewhere and you need to throw something else into your bag, this packs down and can go into that bag on its own. So that's kind of why it's almost like its own standalone product. So on the surface, when you open it up, there's two zippers, right? They're all water sealed along the edges, so it is good to go. Let's take a look inside. It is a cube pack. Okay, let's take these little things out. You've got more dividers in here. This could store your drones. This could store a mirrorless camera with a microphone, which I've done before. You know what, let's just, let's just do that right now. Pete, listen to me. Tell Chris he needs to open the box, please. It can store extra lenses, those types of things. This divider would come out, probably move this way. Here's an EOS R, bam. Mirrorless camera, you throw a divider right here. Microphone, inside. Charger, extra battery. Zip this up and now you have a whole little camera bag system happening inside. That's an USR with a 15 to 35 and a Rode VideoMic Pro. If you wanna use a micro, Rode Video Micro, you are going to get even more space out of this and then you can have another divider in here. Drone bag, camera bag, extra lenses bag, coffee bag, 
whatever you need extra, this bag has it and it's modular. So the best part of this is when it is zipped shut, you'll notice the top zipper right here, a totally different compartment that unzips. Okay, you watching this? This bag opens and turns into its own bag. Remember how Transformers used to blow your mind as a kid? This is that as an adult. You've got backpack straps that connect down to the corners. This is now a day pack. So not only are all your drones and accessories or whatever you're carrying in the very well padded protected base of this bag, Inside, you've got another zippered pouch. That zippered pouch can carry extra accessories, even more, folded t-shirts, anything like that. And now you have a full backpack to take advantage of if you're traveling, anything like that. And then if you need to get rid of it, it's like the straps come right back around, go into the bag, the bag itself collapses down. Boom, this is like a cooking show right now. Close her up and you're back to a tiny little Q pack. I mean, if that's just, that is awesome. So friends, if you've made it this far, I honestly, I love you. You're the best. Thanks for watching. That is your first look at unboxing a brand new Peter McKinnon Nomadic camera bag, fresh out of the box with all the accessories that was several years of work that went into that. If you were someone that backed this project, if you have the bag right now, thank you. I appreciate you. If you're someone who's looking at the bag or looking for someone to talk about the bag for some more information, I hope this helped. That's all I got, folks. Thanks so much for watching. Links in the description if you wanna check the bag out yourself, see it in action, watch the promo video, pick up the bag, purchase the bag, purchase just some of the accessories. All of those things are linked below. Thank you. Love you guys. Hit the like button if you like this video. Smash it if that's something that you're into. 2020 style. Subscribe if you aren't already. And, and I will see you in the next episode. In the next video, I will see you in the next video. <laughs> next episode, I've clearly been binging too much Netflix right now while we're stuck inside. Ah!